guys. We'll be talking a little bit about holsters, uh, drop leg holsters, mid rise holsters, and concealment, and my opinion on those. There's no magazine, no round in the chamber. to 
where somebody comes up and tries to take your firearm out of the holster. That training will come in handy and a lot of times you only get that one time to get your training tested. The idea of this was for my understanding from other people that it's already down there by their hand and it's a, it's a smoother draw for since your hand is already there and you're just able to draw it out of the holster a lot faster because your hands already drop down to your side and you can draw. Uh, same concept if you can still carry uh, mid-rise, high-rise, whatever. Um, if you train it, you will be proficient at it uh, under right guidance. Um, even if you do it yourself, I mean, if you're doing it the wrong way, <laughs> Obviously, you're still going to be able to do it fast, but uh, is it going to be beneficial to you once around you? This holster, it is, it does have a locking system, uh, which is on the outside. Uh, on my mid-rise holster, um, the locking system is on the inside between the firearm and my body. So, it's protected that way, but on these holsters here, the locking system is on the outside of it, and if someone knows about that locking system, they can easily attempt to defeat that locking mechanism. And it doesn't matter what type of firearm it is, it's just the distance between the hand or the hip, uh, your drawing motion, and how you have your uh, your holster set up. So, like I said, it doesn't matter the firearm, it still has a locking mechanism on there, and it's still way too low. Like I said, people don't always adjust the straps to where they need it, to where it should be, or around about where it should be. They just get it to where the straps are around the thigh, tight enough to secure it, to secure it, and to where it's not wobbly. Uh, I'm doing any extra shifting, and they call it good. Um, and it's way down uh, next to the knee, or just above the knee, or you know, just in weird positions. Or they don't tighten it at all, and it's just swashing around. You can still use these type of holes and be able to draw efficiently, but that's not ideal for tight situations in, uh, in close proximity to other people. You're not allowing yourself to buy that time that you need to get done what you need to get done in the event that needs, something needs to happen. This is another holster, same style, and this is closer to resemblance of how I mentioned how a lot of people set their holsters up. So, the very top uh, back strap of the firearm is right at my thumb. My thumb is actually riding against the, uh, the snap here. The only me locking mechanism that's on this holster and right up against the uh, back strap of the, gun, uh, the firearm. <clears throat> so, when it comes to this style holster, this one is, this is a single strap that goes all the way down. Shifts, it shifts a lot, uh, just wobbly. And both this style and the style earlier in the video uh, are both style holsters that are used in those tight situations that I mentioned, um, which I don't believe is appropriate for that type of uh, that type of work. <coughs> to defeat this lock mechanism, all you do is unsnap it, which can easily be done. Uh, by a mistake or by uh, someone intentionally trying to grab it. Um, all it is is a strap here that comes across the top and a little snap, snap latch. It's not ideal. Uh, this is, like I said, an older and a cheaper holster that, that are still made, uh, that people still use, but I don't find it 
necessary for security style work. Um, you can still get to it quickly if need be. Whether it's just snapping it out. Um, so for this style, you can adjust where the, where the uh, snap button is, whether it's on the outside where you flip it up with your thumb or if it's on the inside where you push it to the side with your thumb. Uh, but it's still just a snap. You can still get to it easily, fairly easily. Uh, like I said, if you train with it, your speed will continue to get higher or faster. Uh, but when it comes to the style holster, uh, no. this is my very first uh, drop leg holster. Just mess around at the range really when I first started getting into firearms. Um, I got this for the flat range and just for around the house. And it served its, pur it served its purpose doing that and I wouldn't use it anywhere else uh, even to this day. Um, this is a uni universal style holster. Um, it has a strap on the inside. Uh, Velcro to where you can make the inside um, barrel uh, where the barrel sits. You can make that shorter or longer or deeper uh, depending on what type of firearm it is. So it's pretty much universal to where I can take this one out and if I didn't want to carry this one that day. Uh, no magazine, no round in the chamber. I can put another firearm in here that's equal length without having to adjust it's a different firearm and it has a light system on this one and it still fits um, or no magazine no round in chamber it's a shorter barrel and this drops down in there so I would have to adjust the straps either on the outside to get it to sit flat here sit flat down here or the strap that's on the inside and bring that up uh, so I can get better purchase on the pistol grip portion on um, the Macwell uh, for easier draw but like I said these are all holsters that I've seen inside I love the security world uh, for uh, the nightclub bars concealment prefer concealment uh, to where you are armed security and it's one less thing to have to worry about. You know, you're worried about watching the crowd, you're worried about watching things that potentially go wrong. You don't need that extra stress of uh, worrying about, is this person too close to me? Which, not to let them, they are just because of the size of it. the establishment and the, uh, the amount of people that are in there. Um, is this person too close to me and do I need to back this person up from me um, when somebody is approach, approaching approaching me do I need to offset where my firearm is when I speak to him or am I going to be to the point to where nobody's allowed anywhere near me and I'm walking around and yes I do see them walking around with their hands in their pocket Their arms aren't even long enough to reach the firearm to where they still have to reach down. And yes, that can present an issue when it comes to drawing the firearm. When you're drawing the firearm, you have to deviate from your natural posture. You're going down and trying to draw out, and you're still trying to line, line back up. However, however it is that you drop your shoulder, your neck, um, everything from your draw to your presentation to getting on, tar on target should be natural. If I'm standing here, I should be able to draw my weapon system and initiate whatever I need to initiate from that point. So to sum it up, if your company allows it, try to do concealment. Just get a different style holster um, that will be beneficial to what it is you're trying to do. Um, 
they allow it. If they allow it, do a mid drop. This is a two part holster. You can definitely use it uh, just a single uh, belt by itself. You don't have to use the inner. Um, you can, like I said, for security, you don't need everything that I have on here. You know, you may not have a rifle magazine holder a need for whatever it is that you're doing. You may not need three magazines here. Um, you may not need a you know, knife wherever you have it set up. Um, so whatever you do have, if you have a firearm to wear, no magazine, <clears throat> no round in the chamber, to wear, is not too far, not too high, um, it's just mid-rest, like I said. You're able to reach the bottom of the holster standing naturally. You should be able to reach and cut the bottom of the holster. And that should be, that should be good enough. Keep the back of the holster, or the back of the uh, firearm, or the top of the holster should reach the portion of your forearm, you know, the size of it and everything, but it's an easier draw to where you're here, you're able to come out and punch up. So your draw should be should be smooth and already to punch up. So a lot of things that happen with the drop leg poster that you know run down the side of the thigh. Yeah.